so June the first, we got an undisputed matchup between Arthur Better Biev and Dimitri Bevel. This is at 175 pounds. This one is for all the marbles. We are getting an undisputed champion at the 175 pound division. That is what I'm talking about. And I'm here to give my prediction for this fight. These two are on the polar opposites of each other, man. They even got, like, their KO ratios is, like, half and half. You got Arthur Better Biev, 100% knockout ratio. And you got uh, Dimitri Bevel, 50% knockout ratio. You know, both are known for one different things. Bevel known for his boxing ability. And uh, Better Biev is known for his raw punching power. You know, so let's get into my prediction. So, tail of the tape, man. We got Arthur Better BF. He is 39 years old. Stands at 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch arm reach. And then we have Dimitri Bevel. He's younger, 33 years old, 6 foot even with a 72 inch arm reach. You know, it's crazy. I always thought, you know, um, I never looked. Arthur Better B doesn't even look that tall. He doesn't even look like he's almost six foot. It doesn't even look like his arms are longer than Better B um, than Beevil's either, but they're inch they're inch longer. So let's get let's talk a little bit about Arthur Better B man. Um, twenty wins, twenty knockouts, no losses, no draws. All wins by knockout. So Arthur Better be if he's in a special club in boxing where there's all of his wins come by knockout. Okay, very few boxers are in this category. Uh, other boxers in this in, uh, that are also in this category include Gary Antoine Russell um, and uh, Virgil Ortiz, if I stand correct. I believe, yeah. Might be a few more, but uh, those are the two that come to mind. Uh, Ultimate Beav is an absolute monster, man. Um, raw power is probably a... That's an underrated term. I, I, I can't explain the type of power this dude has, bro. He generates power punches. Doesn't need much space to generate that power, which is incredible. Similar to, like, Subrio Matias. Um, you can even um, no, you can't. Matias, he he would have had a hundred percent KO ratio, but he lost that fight to uh, I always get the dude name Anunian. I can't pronounce his name, but he would have also been in this club before this. Before that fight, he would have been in the same category as these guys. But also, Arthur Bedbeev has a solid chin. You have seen I've I've seen him hurt once i've seen him i've seen him hurt before maybe once I, I i forgot what fight it was i think a few fights i think yard hurt him once nothing major though you know you never seen him all over the place his chin is pretty good he got a solid chin underrated boxer too he can also box he showed you that against joe smith he can box really good so he's you know he's one of these guys he has good iq too and he's one of these dudes that he doesn't if he he can outbox if he wants to, but he hasn't had to do that. And I, shit, man, I, his style. I would assume, man, he would use outboxing to kind of like to lure his opponents in. You know, I think that's probably the reason the way he would do it. He was luring Joe Smith in in that fight too. He kind of Joe Smith thought that he was going to um, be backpedaling, backing up Butter B of and like you know had Butter B of nervous or scared and. Clearly wasn't the case. It was all in his strategy. And let's um, let's talk about his last three fights. All right. So, Arthur Better be his performance in his last three fights. His last fight against Callum Smith. That was uh, earlier this year, January. Knocked him out seventh round. Uh, broke him down. Very good scrap. He was technic a technician in there. Broke him down. Like a Ford on the side of the highway, man. Um, excellent scrap. Callum Smith gave it his all, you know, but 
he was too small for be uh, for better be in my opinion. Moving up in, in weight, he's too small. Then, 2023, we had Anthony Yard. Um, another good fight, man. I just got through talking about it. Um, Anthony Yard gave it his all. That was a straight bomb burner fight. Uh, I believe Yard did crack better be with something. He felt it. But, like I said, he, he webbed stood it. Solid chin. Uh, I would say that performance was A plus from Better BF as well. And then the fight before that was Joe Smith Jr., which I also talked about. He outboxed, he boxed him around for <laughs> as long as the fight lasts. He boxed him in the first round, mixed it up with him pretty much, and then, you know, got him up out of the paint in the second round. You know, so I would say out of all those performances, man, uh, Joe Smith. Even though it was only two rounds, it was just, you know, to watch him move around the way he did and still break dude down and didn't stop and just plant his feet and just bust him up. One of the best performances of those three right there. I would say that one. And then I like how he performed against um, Callum Smith and then Anthony Yard, you know. So let's talk about Dimitri Beevil. He's 22 wins, no losses, no draws, 11 wins by knockout. Bevo, not really a big puncher, so to speak. Uh, he's the second person to defeat Canelo Alvarez when Alvarez moved up in weight. Um, skillful, very skillful fighter. Volume puncher, keep that stick in your face. That's a problem for a lot of dudes. When the type of jab he got, he keeps it in your face. Burst, you know, he burst out of his guard. He got... Like, you don't know when the explosion of, of flurries is coming. I, I love watching Dimitri Bebo fight, man. Great fighter. Um, he's been tested, too. Been wobbled a couple of times. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, real solid fighter, man. I mean, he, get, he, he can give most people fits. He's been giving all his dudes fits. Gave Canelo absolute hell. Even though he didn't knock him out, he gave him absolute hell. So let's... Let's... Um, Let's look at Dimitri Bevel's last three opponents. Last three was Lyndon Arthur. Um, he waxed him for 12 rounds. Very good scrap. Went 12 with him. That was out there in um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, Gilberto Ramirez, he, he waxed him too. Same thing. Um, put on an absolute boxing clinic against him. And we already know the fight before that, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Smashed him too. Um, superior performances in all three of these fights, man. And the way he fights is the way he fights. He's not no, he's not very aggressive. You know, he's a he pick his shots carefully. Very good jab. You know, um, speed is good, decent speed. Footwork is phenomenal. You know, so how does this fight go when these two get in the ring, man? It's gonna come down to if. You know, pretty much if Dimitri Bivol can handle Arthur better be as punches. Will his punches slow him down? Bivol has pretty good defense, but um, like I said, we, I was just talking about this. At some point in a fight uh, with, a, with a dude like better be, if you're going to have to try to hurt him to slow him down to stop you from stop him from getting you or knocking you out. Now, does he, does Dimitri Bivol, does Dimitri Bivol have the power to... to Slow down, uh, Arthur Bedebiev. I mean, this is that's 175, man. Of course he does. But on, on paper, uh, Dimitri Bevo is not a big puncher. So, you know, when he's in there with somebody his size, like a Bedebiev, a lot of those, a lot of them punches that he's gonna get Bedebiev might not affect Bedebiev. You know, that's, that's gonna be a, a big problem for uh, Arthur Bedebiev if he don't hurt Bedebiev with something. And I. I can't really see that. I can't really see that happening, but it's possible. It's boxing. But in reality, I, I, I can't see Bevo even really making a dent or hurting Arthur Better BF. All right. And Arthur Better BF, he's going to go in there and seek and destroy. He's going to mix it up a little bit to have Dimitri Bevo thinking, oh, I'm just a big power puncher. No, 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 no. I'm not. I can also box. Like, he's going to try to lure Bevo to, uh, to him in certain points in that fight. And, uh, 
you might see uh, he get against the ropes and let Beaver try to tear him, hit him up to the body and stuff. Then he's going to probably try to counter and clip Beaver. But I think Beaver's in and out game is, is crisp. So I don't think he's going to fall for that. I think his IQ is too high to fall for anything like that. So the pod, it's two ways this fight going to go, man. Either Arthur Biev is going to knock out Dimitri Beaver or Dimitri Beaver is going to outbox um, Arthur Better Biev, just like he did Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the thing is, though, Canelo is, I think Beaver, uh, Better Biev has much more skill, a better skill set, better variety in his toolbox than uh, Canelo Alvarez did, does. So he's not going to, I never see Better Biev tired, you know, um, so I think his engine is going to be sick through the whole fight as long as it la as far as it goes. And, you know, Beaver's going to be jabbing up, you know, using that stick jab, keep trying to keep it long, and then plant his feet when he feel like it's safe to do so. Then he's going to probably bring it back out range. That's what I think is going to happen a lot in this fight. Not going to see a lot of holding unless somebody get hurt. You're going to see a lot of movement, though. I think you're going to see Beaver in there. I mean, uh, better be going to be in there boxing, trying to test some things out with himself. But for the most part, man, um, I I don't see this is this is a very interesting fight. This one was kind of hard for me to predict, you know, because this thing can really go either way, man. Both of these dudes are just that good, man. They're just that good. But ultimately, I think what's going to end up happening is, um, since I think Better Beaver has a better skill set and more power than Canelo as well, too. I don't think I think Beaver is going to do good for the first maybe five six rounds maybe half the fight, but better be able to start. He's going to start stepping on the gas around round six, and he's going to clip Beaver with something. Man, I see that happening to a, to a stoppage, man. So I say eighth round, uh, man, not even eighth, man. That's that's taken away from Beaver. I think Beaver was just that good, man. I would say maybe a, a, a tenth round stoppage. Uh, I think he's gonna wear down Beaver's body to a tenth round stoppage. I can see that happening. Beaver might catch. He's gonna. He's definitely. This is boxing. Gonna get hit. He's gonna clip. Better be with some pretty good shots during that fight. But I don't think it's gonna be nothing significant enough to hurt him. So I see uh, better be of turning it, turning it all the way up by like the eighth round, bro. And He's going to go in there. He's going to stop Dimitri Bivu with a, with a shot to like an uppercut. I see I mean uppercut shot or a left hook, something like that, to the head. And then Bivu goes night-night. And then we have a brand-new undisputed champion at 175 pounds, Arta Better BF. Let me know what y'all think. Who you got winning this fight coming up June 1st? Arta Better BF or Dimitri Bivu? Man, it's your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm off this.